Hello everyone and welcome to the Prince Ali rescue quest for the 2007 RuneScape. Now there are no quests needed or any levels needed for this quest but I do suggest having high defense because you must run past some level 26 guards. So items needed for this quest are 7 balls of wool, 2 onions, 1 red berry, 1 ash, 1 pot of flour, 1 bucket of water, 1 soft clay, 1 bronze bar, 1 pink, uh, pink skirt, 3 beers, 1 rope, and 50 to 100 coins. I also suggest bringing a bit of food if you are low level. Now all these items needed can be found in the description below and how to get them. You must talk to Hazan who can be found in the al -Kurid Palace. So he, he can be found near the quest start point uh, in the mini-map. So you talk to Hazan and he's going to mention that Lady Kelly has been kidnapped. You must now talk to Osman who can be found outside and he's going to mention all the items needed for the quest. So after talking to Osman, you must travel north and then head through the al -Kurid gates. That's where you must pay 10 coins. Now you're going to head to Draenor village. So in case you do have an amulet of glory, use it to teleport to Draenor village. This will save you quite a few minutes walking. So you are going to need quite a bit of run energy if you aren't using an amulet of glory. So I strongly suggest banking all your armors or especially your weapons because you aren't going to need any weapons during this quest. You might want to bring maybe some some armor in case you are very low combat level but I was pretty much fine with five to six cakes. Um, they don't hit hard at all but just head to Draenor village and find Leela. So once you're close to Draenor village, you can find Leela south of the field and north of the jail. Talk to Leela and she's going to mention that you must bring skin paste and a wig. Now travel west into Ned's house and talk to Ned. Use option 1 asking him if you can make different stuff uh, with balls of wool. Ask him to make a wig. Use option 2. And he will agree to making you a wig, so after you make a wig, you must travel to the witch's house, which can be found also to the west. As the wig needs to be blonde, um, you must go and make a yellow dye. This is when your onions and a bit of your coins comes in, so talk to the witch and she will make it for you. The witch is also going to make for you the skin paste so you're going to have to pay a little bit more for that also. So use option 1 and she will agree to make you some skin paste and then use option 1 again. You give her the, the ingredients and she will put a paste in your inventory. So talk to her again and use option uh, 5 asking her to make some dyes and then ask her using option number 2 to make a yellow dye. This is going to cost you two onions and five coins. Once you have these items use your yellow dye on your wig. This will make uh, a, a yellow or blonde wig uh, which is going to be needed. Run back into the gel and this is where you must use your techniques to protect yourself. So you're going to have to talk to Lady Kelly. Now in case this happens with a guard is attacking you, you're going to have to block the guard inside the jail or in case Lady Kelly is inside the jail, you must try and block the guards outside. This can be done by closing a door in between you and the guard. Now talk to Lady Kelly. Um, now talk to Lady Kelly about how popular she is in RuneScape and then ask her about her latest plans and then say that she must be very skillful. Then ask her if she's sure that Prince Ali uh, won't, you know, get, get free. Ask her if you can see the key and ask her if you can see it for a very short time. Once you can see it with a very short time, use your soft clay with it and uh, you will get an imprint on your key. 
Now that you got your imprint on the bronze bar, you must travel back and talk to Ozman. Now Ozman was the guy outside of the Alcarid Palace. So in case you have a ring of dwelling, uh, use that and travel to the the Alcarid Dwall Arena. This will give you you know a few minutes saved by walking. If not, travel all the way back to Lumbridge and then through the gates where you must pay 10 coins once again. So once you're very close to Ozman, give him the the key imprint on your bronze bar, he's going to be very happy about it. So once you have given him the key imprint, he's going to take it from you and it's going to mention that you must pick up the key from Leela. Now Leela is north of the jail and south of the field. Once you're very close to Leela, ask her for the key and she will give it to you. And now you're going to head to the jail. Now for the next part, try and make sure that before you do it, you watch it. So make sure you watch me do it first before you actually do it because it's quite hard. This is the hardest part of the quest. So you're going to have to try and get Lady Kelly inside of the jail. If she is in inside, try and remove all the other guards inside or kill them or do whatever you want. So now that Lady Kelly is inside, try and block a guard so he doesn't, you know, just try and get all the guards outside. If not, you won't be able to get through the next part. Now talk to Joe. If you want, just offer him a drink or you might want to find out a little bit about him before you actually give him a drink. Um, but you can easily just talk to him and use option one to give him a drink. So I'm just trying to find out a little bit about him because some sometimes he will decline your drink and because he finds you a bit suspicious. So just offer him a drink using option 1, he'll be very happy that you are offering him a drink. So talk to him again and offer him another one and then another one until he has taken all three of the beers. He will now be drunk and you must now use your rope on Lady Kelly and you will put her inside of the cupboard. You now have about a minute and a half to give your disguise to Prince Ali and, and for yourself to get out of the jail. Now the reason you have only a minute and a half is because that's how long it takes for Lady Kelly to get out of the rope and alert the other guards that you are here. In case they do attack you though, uh, you can easily just run out of the jail and run back to uh, Al Karid. So after you have freed Prince Ali, uh, he's going to be very happy and you must now talk to Hazan in Al Karid uh, where you started the quest. After you have talked to him, he's going to mention that Prince Ali did come back and he's going to give you your reward. The rewards are 3 quest points, 700 coins and you can now go through the Alcarid gates for free. So you won't have to pay anything from now on. Now in case the video did help you, please subscribe, like and comment the video because I do appreciate when people subscribe and like the videos because it shows me that you guys care. Now this quest did take me around 15 minutes 
so it's not bad at all and it's a very good quest to do because it is needed for some other quests so if it did help you and you would like to see other guides like these do remember that I have posted loads of other quest guides for the 2007 RuneScape and I will post loads more in the future. So I try and post about one to two videos every day. It might be about evolution of combat or it might be about the 2007 RuneScape quest guides. And very soon I will be doing more stuff in the 2007 RuneScape. Once I have done most of the basic quests, I will move on to other stuff. So thanks all for watching this guide. Please subscribe, like and comment and I hope to see you all very soon.